morning you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to uh, talk about the V. Wait, where's my mic? Yeah. It's freaking crazy the invasion of Karen's there that's been happening and I'm pretty sure most of these are most of them are fake. I'm gonna edit in a couple of clips there when we watch later on in the video about uh, the invasion of Karen's that's going on, which is pretty crazy. Unfortunately, I would show it to you on the screen, but unfortunately, this phone is the only thing that I got to show it, so I'll just I mean, I'll use a screenshot recorder and edit that clip into the video. How do you think the lighting works? Pretty good. Really good, that. I got, got this lighting. I'm pretty sure about most of these Karens and stuff, like, you know, and people, and the worst part is they're getting famous, even though, like, people are falling for it and they think it's real. Most, I guarantee you, like, they just saw one, made the first one was more than likely real, but when that first one got famous, a bunch of copycats come. Same with the freaking uh, Cash Me Outside girl. Same thing happened with her. Once that one thing happened on Dr. Phil, and all these spoiled kids started rolling right in trying to copy the Cash Me Outside girl. So it's basically them just copying it for fame. But it's pretty funny how the act they put on. They start yelling like insanely. It's pretty crazy. Pretty pretty fun to watch, and that's for sure. so funny one of them was like literally in Walmart screaming to the top of her lungs you all better repent because the kingdom of heaven is coming you know that just screaming at Walmart in the top of her lungs and then she gets arrested <laughs> it's pretty hilarious Got, luckily I gotta wait here because the cold thing has got all the gyms shut down. Pretty insane. They shouldn't do that. Not everyone can pay $30 for each for a wait. Or a right and big amount for bringing um, to buy an actual bench press which costs quite a bit too. Maybe you can find one second hand, I'm not sure. But <laughs> I guarantee those are getting a lot of business now. 
Like, who knows, man? Maybe the friggin' COVID thing is a, a thing that was started by marketers. Like, of course, it's killing people. I'm not seeing that, but uh, they probably someone in the government or something released it for marketing for certain items. Just think that the stock was right low for toilet paper and all that stuff. You definitely know it went up. So it could have been planned. They could have invested a bunch of money into the friggin' uh, into the friggin' COVID friggin' I mean into the things that were gonna obviously sell out when it happened. They bought a bunch of shares and then because and then the price is right low and then it goes up and they make a bunch of money. But who knows, right? No one knows about that. There's no proof, so can't say I really believe it, but I always think anything's possible. That's all I'll say anyway. Anything's possible, that's all I don't really believe on it. I don't actually believe it's true, but any there's a lot of possibilities. No one can know, right? But the Karens and the anti mask people are freaking crazy. Like, I get people complaining about the restrictions with the gyms and all that. But, like, they shouldn't be thought of as crazy, too, because they're just mad about the restrictions. Like, I completely agree with everything else, but that, and the certain rules that stores are making up. Like, I know there's certain rules in stores, like masks, sanitizing your hands, and all that. That's completely legitimate. And the number of people that can be in the store at once, but the thing I don't like is the pick your own lot. I mean, the employees pick your line rule, and uh, I'm trying to think, it was, I'm trying to think of all of them. The one where they only give seniors from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. to shop, which, like, who the fur gets, like, they were saying, oh, basically. You're a senior, you have to get up at 7 a.m. to go shop. Like, that's not friggin' right, man. No one else has to do that. It's basically discriminating. Like, saying, yeah, all the, all the black people I can only come shop for... Imagine if they did that, and they would be in a whole bunch of trouble, for sure. But, right after, a good thing is that right after I made that video, Sylvie's took the friggin' that sign off. They don't have that rule anymore. <laughs> so obviously that video I made on them had a, some kind of effect. It was right after they took off that sign. Because they obviously saw the video and had both crap we could get in trouble for breaking the law here and get sued. Because that was the only store doing it. Like the mask and sanitize thing. You know, a lot of stores were friggin'. You know what's funny? Sylvie's does all that stupid stuff and then they don't have the rule to wear a mask in there. Pretty much everybody in there is not wearing a mask. And as far as I know, in a lot of other places they require you to wear a mask even in Halifax. So that means the stores aren't even. Uh, enforcing any rules that actually uh, help stop the spread. They're literally just enforcing stupid rules that allows them to be an asshole to customers and not get in trouble for it. I don't even know how they... Well, they must have for the discrimination thing, but the other one, as far as I know, is still going. But the friggin' the one where I was talking about where they are technically discriminating against seniors like uh, yeah it is because they're friggin the 
obviously they weren't doing something right. I've seen someone comment that they aren't discriminating and all of that, and that it's just to help them or whatever, which that comment's completely bullcrap because obviously they were doing something wrong because right after they made the video, they took that rule away right away. They, they took that th the sign where they said seniors can only shop at that certain time. They took that sign right off after I made that video about them. So there's a ton of percent proof in that, you know. And you guys will be back in a second and show you some clips of some Karens. So I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna check out some uh, Karen clips now. Hey guys, I was just staring deeply into my shungite. It's to protect me from the 5G radiation waves that we're all gonna be exposed to. Instead of being a bitch, oh. I'm sorry. An example. I'm sorry. I like her. My kids can't hear me calling you a bitch. Your window's open. They can't hear me because they're listening to Kids Bop. <laughs> Which one? Seventy? Uh, Kids Bop Seventy? She's trying to use her Jedi magic on him. Please, please do it. I have nothing else. That one I think is obviously acted out more than likely. No doubt about that. <laughs> Did six sixty thousand? Let's go for sixty thousand on this one. I don't know. When you search Karen's on YouTube, one of my last videos got one of the top ones, so let's make this one even higher, guys. How about that? Okay, we got a woman. Oh, Is she? Oh, no! Felony assault. Look at that little girl. A child. What the fuck? There's a bug in front of me. Is that it? Oh, <laughs> Let's normalize this. <laughs> just no communication. Just walk up to someone and just cough, dry cough on them. Truly. What is that supposed to do? Does that do anything at all? <laughs> Except for just blow some hot air on them? She's probably got syphilis or something. I love you guys. And smash like. I'm trying to be I'm oh. just trying to help you. Oh, I'm just trying to help you. I'm from upstate. Yes, you do, mother. Okay. Do you people actually talk like this? I'm trying to help you, mother. You stupid mother. I'm trying to help you, mother. I'm trying to help you, mother. What the f is wrong with you? The f by the fucking way that I'm fucking that I'm trying to fucking She's picking fights. Okay, why do people- are people- Are people- Okay. Alright, you heard it here first, guys. The whole- Yeah. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, till next time, peace out.